What's happening ladies and gents, I hope you're doing very well. We are talking about Lordstown Motors today and essentially what I expect to happen in the upcoming weeks and months, uh, providing there's no more news that comes out similar to the Biden and what he done the other day. And yeah, and especially if there's no more this whole Wall Street bets and Reddit fiasco going on, sending the stock market into a frenzy. I believe that's starting to cool down a little bit now. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna talk about Lordstown Motors and what to expect. So really, this is what hit the EV market by storm. It was Biden's green vehicle initiative lifts EV makers and their bets on the future. Automakers and pure play electric vehicle makers got a boost this week by President Joe Biden's Buy American plan. And that was, um, I don't know if it was this week, was it? I thought it was last week. Anywho. Shares of pure electric car makers Tesla, Lordstown Motors, Workhorse, Fisker and Nikola. <laughs> Nicola rose following the announcement and even shares of Chinese uh, Chinese EV maker Neo saw a pop after the plans were revealed. So this tells me that people were very excited with the news, uh, bought in obviously out of fear of missing out, thinking that there was some uh, uh, announcement going to be released, maybe the US USPS contract was going to be, re uh, be released, I don't know. Sent the EV market into a frenzy, it set unrealistic uh, price projections across the border. I think especially that week we had Virgin hitting up as well, and we had pretty much any and every company um, spiking. It was incredible. Palantio, I think, went up crazy as well. And yeah, so now things are cooling down a little bit. I do expect us to carry on in my last Lordstown video to go down to that 22 to 21 mark. From now, um, again, how many days that takes, I'm not too sure, but let's have a look at the price chart. We're currently about 24.83 when I took this screenshot. So our MACD is now nearing the crossover point here, uh, which is obviously gonna tell us that it's gonna go into a downwards trend. Uh, do I expect that to happen? I do. Uh, again, I'm not, <sighs> it could either happen here, it could spike back up a tiny bit and go again. But I do think we, it's inevitable that we're going back into that downwards trend. Uh, when I made our la my last video, it was to say essentially, I think we're heading to that 22 to 21 mark, really. And that's where I would like to buy in more shares. If we look at the RSI as well, it's on the higher end. It still is heading in a downwards trajectory as well. And again, we were overbought not too long ago, especially with that spike there. Uh, and yeah, hopefully we will carry on. I mean, I like to think of it this way, if the shares are going down, especially when there's not really any news release, it's a good buying opportunity because the, the company's fundamentals haven't changed for better or for worse. It's just crazy price action for not really much reason, to be honest. So hopefully the RSI continues to go down along with the, the MACD, heading towards that 22 to 21 mark. Again, I could see it going up and down till then, but I do think eventually we're gonna have an opportunity, whether how long that opportunity is, I do think we're gonna have an opportunity to buy in at a lesser price. So I think the main point of note is that there has been no real news. Uh, Lord Salmo has obviously came out with their 100K pre-orders uh, news, Oh, I don't know, that was about a month ago, three weeks ago now, uh, which did spike this, uh, the stock. I did sell out and done a swing trade at that point. Uh, it came back down. I think I missed the boat a little bit. I did not expect the Biden thing uh, to, to happen, which sent the, obviously the stocks going back up. And again, I'm just looking for that buying opportunity. Um, and again, because nothing's really changed, that's a good sign in my opinion that it was just crazy, uh, crazy price action for the sake of price action. Uh, so let me know what you think in the comment section below. Do you think Lordstown Motors has changed for better or for worse? Do you have shares in the company? What do you think of the last sort of week and the Reddit and Wall Street bets? And talk to me in the comment section. I always respond. Uh, let me know if you are long or short on, on Lordstown as well. I'm always interested to hear. And if you want me to go into any other companies and have a little look, read some news on them, uh, let me know. Just remember, this is not financial advice. This is merely a place of discussion and reading some news, goddammit. Anywho, I'll see you in another video today, I think, or tomorrow. Who knows?